What's going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? Greg here today to watch the trailer for a movie that I uh, thought this trailer was coming out at like 6 in the morning, but it came out in the evening in L.A. Halloween ends. Still positive with the vid diesel, unfortunately. Tested positive uh, a few days after Johnny Boy did, but hopefully we're both clear by the time Comic-Con rolls around because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of goodies. But right now, we got to rock this trailer. I really enjoyed the third, first Halloween movie. Really enjoyed Halloween Kills as well, so I'm very excited for this. Wanted to mention a couple things. Shot a reaction to the movie Sinister, first time watching, so I'm going to try to get that up tomorrow or Thursday. And in case you missed our major announcement, uh, we recently partnered up with Heavy Spoilers and Screen Crush for a one-stop nerd shop for all of our merch got a whole bunch of great gear to represent yourself as a citizen of the reject nation but also got a bunch of stranger things inspired gear as well and the main show i want to tell you about is a limited run inspired by one from stranger things and one from squid game and we put one and one together you can go to shopzeroedition.com and explore around you know see if there's anything that you like anything you guys get is a great way to support the channel meantime leave a like that'd be awesome and let's see the trailer for the final 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 showdown with the, the it won't be though the, there's always more <laughs> what we got Chilling. Let's go. Ouch. <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> Get me, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. No. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I fear that. That's such like a primal fear of anyone who ever deals with garbage disposals, man. I think that's a reference to uh, one of the Halloween movies, isn't it? Is that? H2O? Let me know if I'm right about that. If this time I actually use a garbage disposal, I think his Final Destination was the first movie I ever saw that really tempted with that, and other movies have done it too. But whenever I put my hand in a garbage disposal, I'm like, oh my God, please don't turn on. I'm really enjoying the showdown moment that they're teasing us with. I'm assuming it's from the finale of the film, or it could be like one of two or three fights between them, you know, like it's taking place a few years after Halloween kills. I could imagine a scenario where, you know, someone feels inspired to become Michael Myers or dress up like him, and I'm gonna attack Lori and have some true crime serial killer wish fulfillment going on. But I mean, this looks like this is the real Michael Myers in this scene. But the first installment from this trilogy, while I I, like loved that finale i really did it was a lot of machinations and contraptions a lot of strategy this is just bringing us to a brutal raw visceral fight bare knuckle house brawling you know, which feels like apt for this climactic showdown the boogeyman the ferocious unstoppable force and the resilience of laurie strode going toe to toe in, in like this physically brute match and even the ending shot of laurie stabbing michael's hand reflecting the iconic imagery of michael myers stabbing kind of weaves in thematically with what this trilogy has been doing of laurie's traumatic obsession in some ways evolving her into what she obsesses about i'm not saying she's going to become a serial killer or anything like that but but i, I think you know what i'm getting at you, you've seen the other two movies but i have faith in this movie i, I like the halloween 2018 2018 if i'm correct i like that one more than uh halloween kills and they have had two movies planned and originally it was going to be shot back to back but they actually wanted to wait and see how kills was received first so they can acclimate and readjust especially because while there was like still a lot of halloweenisms in that film they did try doing different things in terms of audience reception some of it didn't land so well some of it did evil dies tonight so i do wonder how much social commentary they're going to try to push in here because halloween kills definitely tried doing more social commentary than i think the first halloween movie did. i think i think that halloween movie d definitely was doing it but it was a little bit more overt in halloween kills at least in my perception but i think this particular trilogy works best where the themes really shine through the characters emotional experiences and what they're going through so when you keep it like just character focus specifically on laurie stroke obviously who was a miss presence for a lot of halloween kills but i feel like especially with the death of judy greer that's really setting the stage for what 
this film is gonna offer. Like, I think this is a great first trailer. It doesn't give you a lot, which is ideally the way you want it to go when it comes to your horror suspenseful movie. It feels like Halloween opening on Halloween with its POV voyeuristic stalking shot. It misleads you into thinking like, oh, is someone tied up there? Or is Michael just about to kill another person? Then you're walking in again to Lori's trap, which is again establishing like, this is what this trilogy does. <laughs> I did read up that this movie is gonna be taking place, I believe four years after the last movie and that it would incorporate elements of the pandemic into the story. I don't really quite know how much again, social commentary. But what I'm most interested in seeing and, and I hope they really do justice to this is that we're supposed to be seeing how the town of Haddonfield who was already just vastly disturbed and, and traumatized for decades after a few killings in 1978. I can only imagine how much worse it is for them after the events from four years before. So I'm interested to see how they're gonna handle the coping of the community and how that's all gonna unfold. Yeah, I know. I wanna see a bunch of cool kills and thrills too, but I wanna see some cool thematic shit happen as well. What is the actual plot synopsis of this movie? Hold on, let me find it. Four years after the events of Halloween Kills, Lori is living with her granddaughter, Allison, and is finishing writing her memoir. Michael Myers hasn't been seen since. Lori, after allowing the specter of Michael to determine and drive her reality for decades, has decided to liberate herself from fear and rage and embrace life. But that shape just kicks its goddamn door in. But when a young man, Corey Cunningham, is accused of killing a boy, oh, I actually didn't read this, but is accused of killing a boy he was babysitting and ignites a cascade of violence and terror that will force Lori to finally confront the evil she can't control once and for all. Evil dies tonight! Well, that's interesting. So I do wonder if the angle of this Corey Cunningham character is someone who actually did kill this child or is being framed by Michael Myers. He's like, I'm gonna frame this guy. <laughs> I, I'm not sure, but I think there is some interest, like I was talking about earlier uh, in this discussion that perhaps there might be some type of influence, some psychotic, sick influence left behind. And then this kid is inspired by it or, or some shit. And then Michael comes back and Michael's like, I'm gonna adopt you, Corey, you're mine. So yeah, with Halloween Kills wanting to weave in more social commentary, and I know they wanna carry that through here. So from the sounds of things, with Michael having been gone for several years, that again, they'll be continuing that theme of dealing with trauma, the struggles of letting go and challenges to move forward. Oh man, this franchise is so mean to Lori. <laughs> like, she's such a Sarah Connor character in the 2018 film, and in this film, they're setting her up of like, I decided to let go and I'm gonna enjoy my life and be, be at one and then Bam, freaking just when I think come out, they pull me back in. And yeah, you know, with the way Halloween Kills ended with the, the death of uh, Judy Greer's, oh my God, I'm looking at her, Judy Greer's character. Karen, do wonder if we're gonna kind of get some type of cathartic vengeance tale woven here, you know, where <laughs> like Lori and Allison are coming together and they gotta avenge the mom. But either way, uh, I thought this was a great first trailer. I'm excited for this movie. What did you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe, click that bell. You can check us out at shopzeroedition.com, support the channel. And yeah, we will catch y'all soon.